How's everybody doing? It's, uh, I guess sometime around midnight here now. And uh, I'm going to give you the update on the Mustang stereo install. I don't know why this phone keeps gravitating towards me. Sorry about that. So, um, got the driver's side door buttoned up. Tweeters in. Last time, the uh, head unit wasn't in. So, um, I wound up running a new mic. Because uh, when I was putting a dash together, I pinched the wire on the first one. It came out in two pieces, so I figured I'd put it in now instead of later. So, uh, passenger side door just needs to be trimmed out a little bit. The tweeters work phenomenal. I did power the car up and test the stereo. Currently, it has six speakers in it. The two tweeters in the mock enclosures. I got um, a pair of six by eights in the doors and in the deck lid, there's another pair of six by eights in the enclosure that I showed you previously. So um, I gotta say the tweeters are awesome. I mean, it sounds like a symbol's coming out of the thing. Um, I got some pieces in the trunk Uh, there's your mock enclosure. There was an amp on that side. I wound up uh, having to trim this thing up a little bit. But I did get the uh, amp up in there. Let's see here. Here you go. This is, this is what I had to remove to get that amp to fit. No big deal. So, um, here's my wires for the, uh, to go to the speaker box. Like I said, I got this communications wire in here that has to get hooked up to the reverse lights. And, um, here's my, my camera. I got to put that in some wire loom and get it up into the, into the trunk still. Um, I did get the speaker box out. I got the tens downstairs. They were up in my attic. Um, so I, I did some research on this amp, you can see the box over there on the shelf, it was an open box special, should be matched pretty well to these speakers as far as how many watts the uh, amp puts out versus what the speakers can handle. Now the one thing I did look at, if you look uh, in the book here, this is a mono amp, so there is no left and right channel. And I put a two tens in. So what I did is I wired each speaker that has dual voice coils in series. So they're wired in series, but they're paralleled to the amp. That's where you make your connections with the wires that I got in the back of the Mustang. So, um, these are two ohm coils. So I wired them in series to give me four ohms per speaker. But when you parallel them back up, you're going to be back to two ohms, which is, uh, the stereo is, or the amp is one ohm stable. But if you were to wire it with your parallel voice coils, you would wind up with one ohm load, as you can see on the top there. And with the two of them, you would be at a half a ohm, which would be uh, out of your amplifier's capacity to operate. So nothing big. I mean, anybody that does stereos, it's, you know, pretty simple stuff. I just figured uh, if you're looking for some information, uh, we you know, it's something to look at and, and, and to be concerned about. Uh, this is my wire. Like I said, um, basically all I have left is to put the circuit breaker onto this cable, 
hook the cable up to the positive side of the battery and what really kind of got me to a standstill is these tens didn't come with any hardware so I don't have any hardware that I'm kind of happy with to use so I'm just going to call it a night get some hardware tomorrow once I screw these tens down into the enclosure really all I have to do is set it in the trunk and uh, hook up the cable for the power lead to the amp and this stereo will be ready to start tuning and then uh, once that's done I just got to put the back seat in the car and wash the thing and, and kind of clean up my mess so uh, that's my second installment I hope you guys enjoyed uh, next time I see you we should be listening to some tunes have a good night